right hi guys it's angel welcome back or if you're new to my channel my name is angel uh i usually post videos on homeschool activities with my three-year-old toddler that i started doing at the beginning of the year when the pandemic first started i have been using busy bags i've been using busy bags since he was uh, one and a half years old but um my Latest videos obviously are on specifically targeting things that he needs to learn at this age. So I started cracking down on myself and on him. And I also have videos on my channel of hair care routines, DIYs, hair growth tips, health tips, uh, also things that I try from other moms, my workout videos that I've done. Some of them are with Gabe because sometimes when you're a mom, you can't, you know, you can't get away. Uh, so I do have some videos on there, some challenges I've tried, just little things I do as a mom to try to keep my keep up with myself and try to keep myself happy. And things that really make me happy are doing stuff with Gabe, learning more about how to educate him and motivate each other as far as other moms go. I learn a lot from other homeschool moms or at-home moms that just find little cute little activities and just things to do with their children that I really like to do. So. I do a lot of videos on those besides doing hair care routines and sometimes I do just little projects here and there. So if you're new to my channel, that's the gist of what I like to base my videos on lately. Um, it's mainly what uh, helps me keep myself sane and uh, constructive. And this video today is going to be about, I'm putting my learning folder together, although it's going to it's gonna take me like another, probably another few days to finish my learning folder. So while I was doing the learning folder, I was trying out the Scotch Thermal Laminator that I bought off of walmart.com, which was only about 21 bucks. It was a pretty good deal. I saw another teacher use it and it looked like it got good reviews, so I tried it. So now we're gonna see how this bad boy works. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a review, unbox it, and see how, um, how, this, how fast and how good this thing works to laminate these sheets of paper so there's like 50 something sheets of paper to make this learning folder so i will have a video on the learning folder next week today's video is going to be on the scotch um, thermal laminator since it's going to take me a few more days than i thought to get the toddler learning folder together i also want to do a um activity notebook that i saw uh, JDA do with her children. I thought it was super clever. So now that I have the laminator, I'm just gonna go laminating crazy over here. And I also got these from the Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna go ahead and laminate these. These are gonna help with Gabe's letter recognition. And these are only a dollar. There's four in a pack. I got it from Dollar Tree. And it says at the bottom, mm, I'm hungry for the letter. So then you're gonna write the letter here of the letter you guys are going over. And then I'm gonna try to look up on Google or maybe JDA has some printables and see if I can find like a bunch of colors of those those letters. So then I'm gonna cut them out, laminate them so that they'll last, and then he can just kind of velcro them on the in the monster. He has to find them. So I'll do like three letters, maybe A, B, C, D, or whatever, and then so on and so forth. So that's what I want to do because these were from the Dollar Tree and obviously they're going to get ripped and stuff. So I'm going to laminate them so I can reuse these. And once he's done with these, once he's like mastered the ABCs, then I can find another mom to give them to or maybe somebody that I know would, that would use, use them with their little toddlers learning the ABCs. So that's what I'm going to do today. As you can see, let's review this Scotch Thermal Laminator and see how good this thing works. There's about 56 or 50 something uh, pages. So, but right now I need to laminate them all or try to do well, little baby Gabe is sleeping. Cause y'all know, as you can see in my previous videos that trying to do a video with Gabe awake is like a disaster. And I only get decent videos that I can actually focus on cause I get distracted when it's like jumping all around and like doing toddler stuff. So I'm gonna try and do as many of these pages as I possibly can while little crazy baby, baby Gabe is sleeping. And at the same time, I'm gonna be trying out the new, let's see, Scotch Thermal Laminator. This thing costed me like 21 bucks on walmart.com. The other day I went to Walmart and it was like $19.99. It was on sale, but still, still even $21 is still pretty good for a laminator. And I watched another YouTuber mom that, uh, actually she's a teacher. She used this and she has a um, unboxing review on this same laminator that she did a video on showing you how, you know, how it worked. And it looked like it was pretty simple. She gave it an A plus, so I was like, heck yeah. I'm gonna unbox it today and try it out and see how fast I can get as many of these pages laminated while I was trying to save it. And it comes with, oh, okay, it only comes with two, but still, eh, I'll take it. So when I went to Walmart the other day to kind of just uh, see how much it was in the store as well as me getting like other supplies, because they're getting other supplies. This, this box comes with only two sheets, but still it's something. It's still a steal, I think, for a little, 
laminator that's uh, small enough to fit in a small, you know, in a decent small place. Because I don't have a lot of room, as you can see, we left on the pandemic. If you guys have been following me, I'm staying here with my aunt and uncle, with my, with my baby. As we were traveling, it went on um, the, a very extended vacation, and then the pandemic hit, it, hit us. So it looks like we're going to be staying here for quite some time. So we kind of just kind of tried to make ourselves at home and started this. Um, well, I was already doing the busy bags, but I started to try to look into it and get a little bit more crafty and organized and get him on a curriculum more like. And I've been following JDA for a few years now. And now that I, you know, I think that I actually, when I realized I needed to target certain things because he was behind, I feel like he didn't know the ABCs and all that stuff that I discussed in my previous videos. Um, we only have a small space is what I'm saying. So this little corner I've made for Gabe's little learning area. And so this thing is like perfect for me to just fit into a small space or fit into one of these little drawers that I found, all these little compartments I found at Goodwill and stuff. So <clears throat> I'm probably gonna put it over here. Containers right there. Sorry about my diggly arm. <laughs> but um, <laughs> so I'm gonna try this out today while the baby is still sleeping and see how good it works, see how many uh, pages I can. I'm gonna get to this and just to let you know that when you buy the sheets, that go with this, the, the thermal laminating pouches, each has 20 pouches in it. This package costs like, I think I saw it for $9.99 a pack, maybe even more. Right now at Walmart, they're even cheaper than what I ordered them online in in the store. So they're not, they're not cheap for the packets because I'm more than positive I'm gonna use more than one pack for 50 something pages, so we'll see. And I'm gonna start doing this and we'll see how far I get before baby gate. Gotta plug it in. Gotta plug it in. Okay, so here is the little cord compartment to keep everything tucked in and organized back here. What is this? Let's see, what is this? Down here. Is this just a little, oh, it's just a little tray. Oh, okay, cool. That's cool. Alright, that's cool. Yeah, so here's a little tray. It unfolded. It was right here. It unfolds so that you can place it inside pouch. Wait, place item inside pouch, insert, oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna put it here. You're gonna put your paper inside the laminating sheet and then sit it on here and then once it's on, it's gonna suck it in slowly and then it's gonna come out here. So it doesn't have a tray, but. All right, so I turned on, here's the buttons here. There's the on button right here at the very top. I don't know if you can see that. It's red that it's on, it says, 3 mil, I don't know what that means exactly. 5 mil, mil. <laughs> we'll have to read that and see what that means, but I'm guessing that once it gets, because that wasn't red before, once it gets to 5 and it's red, then it'll be ready. So maybe that's heating it up. So I think it did remember her saying that it did have to heat up first before it was ready. So once the light turns on and it's ready, then you'll be able to insert it. And there's also, also a release button right here. So maybe if it gets jammed or it starts going in there all crooked, and then you can just release it or whatever and try to get it out of there. So these are the two free sheets that they gave us with the box that comes, or the sheets that come with it out of the box. And I'm gonna do my first sheet and see how this goes. You open it right up like this, like so. We're gonna put our very first page in there. This one. See. And I know that she said that you wanna get it in there like right in the middle. It's gonna seal around it like a frame. Ooh, it is getting high. You can, you can smell it. It's, just, it's getting all hot in there. Alright, so I think it's in there pretty good. It's pretty snug. So it says place item inside the pouch. Check. Insert sealed end of pouch into laminator. Okay, so this is the unsealed. That's how you put your paper in there in the first place. So the top of it is the sealed side, so we're gonna put it in like this. I don't think it's ready yet, no. I don't know. It's the first time I'm actually using a laminator, so let's try it. Let's just put it in there so it starts slacking at throw. Oh, 
red ravens done. Does look really nice. Who is it ready? I don't know. It looks good though. Sealed nice and tight. There's no air bubbles in it. Came out good. That's the first page, guys. Try to put this together. So I wanted to show you really quick because when I was trying to insert it, it wasn't letting me put it in there because these little these little knobbies here extend and I'm guessing this is if you if you're trying to do like a smaller sheet of paper or something and so these were my ways so you do the, just like slide these over and that'll give you the full space to fit a regular piece of paper or whatever in there I'm gonna have some fun with this laminator Boy! all right so let's do the next sheet and I got like 50 something to go guys so I'm gonna keep doing this real quick so I guess this part we took longer, it's supposed to take longer to heat up. I think I started too soon, but it does have to hit to get to a certain temperature before you're supposed to <laughs> insert it in there. So wait until the little ready light turns on. And I think that's when you're really supposed to start. Although thank goodness the two pages that I did came out fine. I think you're supposed to wait for the light. Just wanna throw that out there. Let's continue. I'm so excited to make this learning folder. Woo! Anyway, you got 50 something pages to go. Okay, so I don't wanna do this individually every time I'm about to insert it. So I think I'm gonna I'm gonna put all of my, put all of my sheets of paper into all of my laminating sheets all at once on a stack so that I can just put them in there one after another really fast because I'm trying to do this as fast as I can before baby gay wakes up and I can't do nothing in life. And let's get back into this. I have laminated or I've put most of the sheets, half of the sheets, so there's fifty something, I can't remember it's fifty six. Still need about ten or fifteen more sheets. I've used Two packs. I can't go any further than that because now I gotta go to the store and buy another whole pack. So my thing if you're gonna do these learning folders as <laughs> don't do what I did. Uh, there's 20 sheets. Let's, this one had 50, but my mom used to sort of it. So the one that I bought from um the one I bought from Walmart didn't have like a big giant pack. Which they did, but this had 20 pouches in it. So if you're going to do the learning binders, find out how many pages are in your um, learning binder and make sure that you buy it as many packs as you need for those pages because I didn't do that. I just got the one pouch to see if it was even going to work and how it's going to work. I didn't think it was going to be it was great. So now I have to go back and get another pack, but I think I'm obviously going to buy like maybe six or seven, maybe even ten because I want to make the, the learning binder and then they have color binders and stuff like that. So I did pay for the color binder off teachers, they pay teachers the learning binder and then one other one that I can't remember right now because my brain is mush. So I'm going to go ahead and laminate all these that I did have enough sheets for and then I will have to run to the store and go get the other sheets. So I had to put the pause on the laminating for a second. Let's finish doing this. But so far the four sheets that I actually completed, they look really great. I can't wait to finish this. So. Let's get back to this in just, a, in just a few, and I'll show you guys what it looks like, like all together. And so far, Scotch uh, Thermal Laminator is working bomb and super compact. Thank you, Walmart.com. Real quick, as I almost forgot, I was trying to figure out how to tuck this thing back in. This is the tray that you put the paper on uh, to go in to get laminated, and I couldn't figure out how to get it back out. I'm just afraid I was going to break it or something. So you, this originally is tucked in, so you're going to just fold it down and then this little the top part will fold back in and it it tucks in like that so it's not coming out and it doesn't get broken if someone hits it and then again there's the little cord compartment back here to tuck away and keep everything nice and tidy just wanted to throw that out there that's really nice and designed okay so i finally got done laminating all 50 something sheets just got done with my last two sheets with the instructions and the legal disclaimer um, that comes from JDA's learning folder off of Teachers Pay Teachers. So this is how many I had to laminate for my learning folder I'm for Gabe. And it, it's just kind of slow. I guess they're kind of all slow. But in all, the Scotch Thermal Laminator works bomb. There's no air bubbles. Even when I accidentally put it in there crooked more than one time. Uh, it still came out okay. It's just a little crinkle like on the edge or whatever, but it wasn't that serious. And I actually put one back in there and it like melted it back straight. So I was like, hey, okay. All right, so that's it. That's all of the sheets that we were doing. It's the first time using the Scotch Thermal Laminator. I give it an A plus, A1, and 
I'm gonna be using the crap out of it here in the near future to make the next project two or five or whatever I come up with and, and uh, <laughs> learn from other moms and other homeschool moms and homeschool t-shirts. Thank you, JDA. I love your channel. Thanks for recommending this learning folder. If you guys need a laminator, the Scotch Thermal Laminator, which is super compact. Let me show you real quick. Let me turn this off because it's like freaking hot and it does get a little hot in here. So this is it again, as you can see in the video. It works good. I like it. It was definitely worth the $21 and something cents that I spent off walmart.com to get it. I like it. So that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching my channel, watching the video on the review. Scotch Thermal Laminator. And I will see you guys next week for Toddler Tuesday for a better video. I will be putting together the learning folder. I have to cut most of these pages, uh, individual pieces out. So it took me way too long. I didn't make the cut pretty much what I'm saying. So, but... I will see you guys next Tuesday for Toddler Tuesday. If you liked the, this video, please do help your girl out. Give this video a like. Subscribe to my channel, <laughs> our channel. Me and baby Gabe over there sleeping like always. Okay, dude. No, just kidding. And turn on your no notifications, please, to get notified for all the future videos that we put out. I have been trying to get videos out every Tuesday for Toddler Tuesday. I also have videos out every Monday for Tame That Mean Monday and Get Fit Friday where I'm doing just um, health tips, uh, reviewing and following up with my Herbalife journey, trying to keep myself healthy and help motivate other moms to do the same and learn from each other. So please do help your girl out and stay with us. Bye!